Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm a project engineer here at Shaw UK. And today we're going to be discussing wireless latency, what latency is and what causes latency within digital wireless systems. Latency is the amount of time it takes for our audio signal to arrive at the output after being inputted into our device or our system. In the case of analog wireless systems, the mic capsule is converting the acoustical energy of your voice into electrical energy that then is then transmitted over radio frequency waves. Both the electrical signals and the uh, RF travel at the speed of light, so there's little to no latency in analog wireless systems. Digital systems, however, the acoustical to electrical transformation is still the same, but now we're converting that electrical audio signal into a digital bitstream of ones and zeros. And this conversion from analog audio to digital bitstream takes time, and that's what introduces latency within digital wireless systems. Different digital wireless systems will have different amounts of latency depending on both the amount of signal processing that's involved and also the RF mechanisms that they're employing. This transmitter that I'm holding, for example, is one of our ULXD transmitters, and ULXD as a system has about 2.9 milliseconds of latency from audio input, which is the microphone capsule, through to the analog output of the receiver. And at Shaw, we always measure our latency from audio input to analog output. When considering how much latency is acceptable in a live performance environment, as with many things in audio, it really depends on the application. If you're using stage monitors in your setup, five to 10 milliseconds of latency is generally acceptable for most performers. Once you get beyond 10 milliseconds of latency, the delayed signal really starts to become noticeable for those performing. This can have negative effects on their timing and it really impacts their performance. If you're using in-ear monitoring systems, then latency becomes much more crucial, especially for vocalists. Between five to 10 milliseconds, if you're a singer, you hear sound traveling through bones within your skull, but you also hear it through the monitoring system. And it becomes much more apparent that you notice this delay and it starts to impact on your timing. Low latencies can also cause issues. Once you get under five milliseconds, you can start to introduce comb filtering. And this is where the direct sound and the sound from the monitoring system interact and cause dips within the frequency response. This can change the tonal characteristics, but most experienced performers are able to adapt to this and work with it as a compromise. It's important when considering latency not to focus on a single device. As I mentioned earlier, this ULXD system has a latency of 2.9 milliseconds. However, this ULXD is probably going to go into maybe an audio network, which will then transmit the signal to a digital mixer. You might want to process this vocal feed through some outboard digital signal processing. All of these extra devices or analog to digital conversion or vice versa is going to contribute to the total system latency. And that's the figure you want to consider is your overall system latency. To learn more about similar topics or to subscribe to future videos, please visit shoreblog.co.uk.